Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5 favourite high-end foundations. So I'm going to be doing 3 of these favourite foundation videos and holding up 4 fingers. I'm going to be doing 3. I'm going to be doing my favourite high-end, my favourite drugstore slash affordable and then my favourite all-time 5 foundations. Or maybe I might even know the favourite all over ones to top 3 or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump in. I don't think I can do a particular order on these ones, so I'm sorry. They're just going to be favorite five. <laughs> so first up, I'm going to start with the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This one is a very full coverage, dewy foundation. Um, I find that it lasts really well on my skin. I find that with my skin, which is normal to slightly dry, sometimes with a few breakouts, it lasts really well, it doesn't cling to any patches, and yeah, it does probably look the heaviest out of all of these foundations, so it doesn't, like, it's not a natural looking foundation, I wouldn't say. Um, but it still doesn't look too cakey or anything, I think probably because it does have that dewiness to it, um, but it's really, really nice. I think that if you do have problematic skin, but don't want it to be too matte, I'd probably check this one out since it is probably the most full coverage foundation out of the ones I'm about to mention. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. Slash, I get a lot of compliments when I wear all of these five foundations, so. But yeah, this one probably a lot more compliments from people who like a more heavy foundation. Next up is the Napoleon Autopilot BBB Beauty Boosting Balm. This is a medium dark. I really like this one because it is I don't know, I don't think it's a proper BB cream, if you know what I mean. Like, a lot of BB creams, people think, like, oh, really sheer coverage, um, you know, basically a tinted moisturizer. This does have a bit more coverage than a traditional BB cream, which is really nice. I think it's more of, like, a light, even light to medium kind of coverage in it, so it is really nice, and especially if you put powder on top, like, you're going to get a pretty decent coverage out of it. I like it because um, sometimes I use it when I don't have... I don't really want to do a lot of makeup, but say like I need to still put some color on my face because it doesn't match the fake tan on my body. I use this and it's really, really nice. It's got really nice ingredients in it. It's got 30 SPF, so it's good for all the time. Um, it, the only thing is I have noticed it does have like a bit of shimmer in it. So you do notice that if you're like in the sunlight, but that doesn't bother me too much, but it might bother other people. Um, but yeah, it's really dewy, really light reflective, so it makes your skin look really, really kind of flawless without having to put like a really full on foundation, thick, heavy coverage on top. Uh, I know some people find this doesn't last very well on them, but me, with my skin type, it usually lasts pretty well, and I always set this one. Some of my foundations I don't set with powder, but this one I always do. It really needs it, and I use a more mattifying... Uh, primer with this because it is so dewy and I find that otherwise it might slip off a bit So yeah, something like Hourglass Veil works really really well with this. It's really really nice It's a really weird consistency though as well. It feels kind of thick and I find that this one Applies the best with fingers um, I kind of I apply it with my fingers and then I go over with like a damp sponge to kind of buff it in I don't find that like a traditional brush works the best with this product next up we have Estee Lauder double wear um, this is really good. I don't like it too much on its own because my skin is a bit more on the dry side. I always mix it with some kind of illuminator and use a hydrating primer with it, but it lasts all day. I don't have a color that matches my fake tan very well though. I've only got one for when I'm not fake tanned and this one for when I use it fake tan but not as dark. It's a really, really nice foundation though. Like it lasts all day day it's not budging once you put it on so that's really good if like I, f I usually wear this if I know that I'm not going to be able to get to touch up my makeup for a long time so that's why that one's good if you find that your makeup doesn't last all day um, definitely try this one out this is just the normal double wear they do have a light coverage version and a high coverage version but this is just the standard one um, a lot of people say they find this is really, really full coverage, but to me this is probably more of like a medium buildable. So I only put like a small amount of this on, I get like one pump of this and one pump of like an illuminator and put that all over my face and there's usually some left over that then I can kind of put on like a little bit more like through the center of my face where I need more coverage. Um, but yeah, I only use a small amount of this, 
but it's really nice, lasts really well. And I got my pump for it from MAC. Next up is the Napoleon Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. This one has a little brush in it. I did a whole review on this foundation, so I'll try and remember to link that below. Um, it is really, really pretty foundation. It is kind of similar to the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, but I do find that it looks a little bit more natural on the skin, and it's a lot easier to kind of sheer out and just apply a small amount of. I use this on most of my clients when I do their makeup just because it looks so flawless on like 90% of people. Um, it just it just sits really perfectly. It has amazing coverage without looking too heavy. And I just, I really trust it probably because I used to work for Napoleon. I've used it on so many people that I trust it the most because um, there's some products that I love but I'm a bit hesitant to put it on someone else if I haven't done it before because I don't know how it's going to go with their skin. Um, but this is one that I know suits like four out of five people, probably not, probably nine out of ten people. That's a bit better odds. Nine out of ten people are gonna like it because it just, oh, if you're using it properly, it's gonna look awesome. Don't put too much on because it is really full coverage. You don't need that much. You only need a small amount to look amazing. Last up, and this, this one probably would be my favorite. <laughs> I'd have to say, um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And it's really nice. It's super, super liquidy and runny. It has amazing coverage, but for only being like really, really thin, so it doesn't look heavy on the skin at all. It's a little bit buildable. It's got a nice color range from like, this is 4.0 and it goes up to quite a lot darker, I believe. And it starts right down at 1.0, which looks really, really light. I don't have a shade of this to match me when I um, don't have fake tan on. This is the only one I have. But now that Urban Decay is at Mecca, I will go pick that up when eventually I stop being so obsessed with fake tanning. Um, but, th but this is amazing. It's just, oh, it's just such a nice foundation. Probably because it looks like skin. Like you can make it look like skin on your face. Um, it just depends, you know, obviously how much you can use. If you put on more, it's going to look a little less natural, but it's still going to look amazing. You, you just can't do any wrong with this foundation. I heard some people, um, had mixed opinions on it when it came out at Mecca, like people bought it and they returned it or whatever. Obviously not every foundation is going to work well for everyone and everyone has different preferences, but I think this is really, really nice and definitely pick up a sample. Try and get like a generous sample so you can try it a few different days with a few different primers, see what works best for you. But for me and my skin type, I find that this works well like with pretty much every primer I could use. Um, I usually use a beauty blender, like a wet sponge to apply it and most other foundations. It's just really nice. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's my all-time favorite. I haven't decided that yet, but out of my high-end foundations, this is definitely, definitely my favorite. I love it. I hope you enjoyed that video, my top five favorite high-end foundations. Don't worry, I'm going to do the other ones still um, so I can cater for everyone. But yeah, if you have some extra cash to burn, and want to get a high-end foundation, go check those ones out, see if you can get samples. Napoleon don't do samples, but if you go in when they're not busy, they'll be more than happy to try it on for you. Um, Urban Decay, you can pick that up at Mecca. They should give you samples. Um, Estee Lauder, go into a Myra David Jones. I believe they are more than happy to give you a week's sample. And... Yeah, that is all. I hope that you enjoyed this video very much and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. That's good.